Players are often written off by fans if they fail to impress in the Premier League, but plenty have gone on to prove their class elsewhere in Europe. Many regard the Premier League as the hardest league to play in, and several players with big reputations have moved to these shores only to struggle. Some of them simply made the move too late for fans to see the best of them. But other players have been let go by Premier League clubs as youngsters, or even in their supposed peak years, due to apparently being not good enough, only to then go and prove themselves in a big way somewhere else. Let take a ride. Joselu. Yes, Real Madrid's new signing is the same guy that failed to shine for Stoke or Newcastle. Not bad for a 33-year-old. Joselu's journey through the English Premier League was marred by inconsistency and unfulfilled expectations. Despite stints at both Stoke City and Newcastle United, where hopes were high for the Spanish striker, he struggled to make a lasting impact on the pitch. However, upon returning to La Liga, a league he knew well from his earlier career, Joselu found his footing once again. With a newfound confidence and familiarity, he emerged as a shining star, showcasing his talents and proving that sometimes a change in environment is all it takes to reignite one's brilliance. Gerard Peak. Given he was still only 21 by the time he left Manchester United, calling Peak a flop might be slightly harsh. But Sir Alex Ferguson had seen enough of the defender to deem he was not suitable for English football following a defeat at Bolton in 2007. Gerard Piquet's time at Manchester United was marked by unfulfilled potential and limited opportunities. Despite being highly touted as a young defender with immense promise, he struggled to establish himself in the first team and failed to make the desired impact. However, upon returning to Barcelona, his boyhood club, Piquet flourished, winning pretty much every available for club and country. He became a cornerstone of the team's defense, showcasing his exceptional skills, leadership, and footballing intelligence. Piquet's remarkable turnaround demonstrated that sometimes, a player's success is intrinsically linked to the environment and club where they feel most at home. Mohamed Salah Salah lasted just 12 months under Jose Mourinho at Chelsea, starting only six games in the Premier League before being loaned to Fiorentina in February 2015. Mohamed Salah's stint at Chelsea saw him struggle to find his rhythm and assert his talent on the pitch. Despite flashes of brilliance, he failed to secure a regular spot in the starting lineup and subsequently moved to AS Roma. In Italy, Salah's career took a remarkable turn as he flourished into a prolific goal scorer and playmaker, earning admiration and acclaim for his performances. His success at Roma caught the attention of Liverpool where he returned to the Premier League with a vengeance. Salah's second stint in England saw him reach new heights, becoming a sensation with his electrifying pace, clinical finishing, and crucial contributions to Liverpool's victories, scoring 44 goals in his first season at Anfield. His journey from Chelsea disappointment to Liverpool superstar serves as a testament to his resilience and unwavering determination. Iago Aspas Conversely, mention Aspas's name at Anfield, and you're likely to get the same mention of that corner from every fan. Iago Aspas's time at Anfield with Liverpool was marked by struggles and limited opportunities to showcase his true potential. Despite high expectations, he failed to make a significant impact and eventually returned to Celta Vigo. Back in Spain, Aspas rediscovered his form and emerged as a hero for Celta Vigo. His goals helped the club avoid extinction in his first spell. Aspas returned to Galicia in 2015 and has scored 129 goals in his subsequent 254 games. He even became a full Spain international in 2016, scoring against England at Wembley on his debut. Memphis Depay Much was expected when Memphis signed for Manchester United in 2015 but Louis van Gaal actually predicted the underwhelming first season at Old Trafford that would follow for the week. However, van Gaal was sacked and replaced by Jose Mourinho at the end of that season, and in January 2017, Memphis was sold to Lyon 
having been starved of chances by the new manager. In his four and a half seasons in France, he fired Lyon to the quarterfinals of the Champions League and did enough to earn himself a move to Barcelona. Diego Forlan Whether or not Forlan deserves to be considered a flop at Manchester United is questionable. With his efforts always appreciated by the Old Trafford faithful despite a lack of goals, but he can be found on plenty of lists looking back at the Premier League's worst signings. Yet the Uruguayan proved his class on the continent, sharing the European Golden Boot with Thierry Henry in 2005, while at Villarreal, winning the Europa League and UEFA Super Cup at Atletico Madrid, and being named the best player at the 2010 World Cup. Paulinho Paulinho arrived at White Hart Lane in 2013 with an impressive reputation but failed to live up to the hype and was sold on two years later at a loss. However, the Brazilian impressed in China scored a bloody incredible hat-trick for Brazil against Uruguay in 2017 and was a regular during his first season with Barcelona. Plenty of eyebrows were raised when Barcelona announced the £40 million signing of former Tottenham midfielder Paulinho from Guangzhou Evergrande in 2017. He was even praised by Ronaldinho. Everyone in Brazil already knew what he could do due to the excellent work he did at Corinthians. He really stood out. Everyone knows about his quality and he's showing that once again. Paulinho returned to China after just a year at Barca. Juan Cuadrado Chelsea's purchase of Cuadrado in 2015 had plenty of people scratching their head, with questions raised as to whether he was the kind of player to flourish under Mourinho. Those doubts proved correct, but there was some surprise that Cuadrado was never afforded a chance under Antonio Conte. Cuadrado went on to win three successive doubles back in Italy with Juventus, plus two more Serie A titles and another Coppa Italia in the next three seasons, and he also helped Juve reach the Champions League final in 2017. He still had to give up the number seven shirt when Cristiano Ronaldo signed for Juve. Radamel Falcao Speaking of players who were brilliant in Spain, crap for Manchester United and went on to win League One after leaving. Falcao was one of the world's most lethal strikers at his peak, banging them in for Porto and Atletico Madrid before he was stopped in his tracks by an ACL injury at Monaco. After recovering, he spent two years on loan in the Premier League, first with United and then at Chelsea. He scored five goals in 36 league games across both seasons. After returning to France, however, Falcao got back to something approaching his best as one of the old heads in a scintillating young team that conquered France and reached the last four of the Champions League. Florian Thalvin Newcastle paid £13 million to sign Thalvin from Marseille in 2015, but he lasted just half a season at St. James Park, starting four times before being loaned back to Marseille. He then spent the entire 2016-2017 season on loan at the Stade Velodrome before his return was made permanent. The Frenchman could justifiably say he did not flop in the Premier League and simply wasn't given a chance, but either way, it must have been galling to Newcastle fans to see him score 26 goals in 2017-2018. He set up a further 18-2 and finished the season with a World Cup winner's medal, albeit he only played one minute for the eventual winners. The journey of these players serves as a testament to the unpredictable nature of football and the importance of finding the right environment to thrive. While they may have struggled to make an impact in the English Premier League, their subsequent success elsewhere highlights the significance of factors such as playing style, coaching, and team dynamics in determining a player's performance. Their stories remind us that a setback in one league does not define a player's potential and with perseverance and the right opportunity, they can flourish and excel elsewhere. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.